This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. People don't leave if they have to abandon their pets, and people who are in abusive relationships, their abusers, tend to either abuse the pet or threaten to abuse the pets as a means of controlling the survivor. It's a trend seen around the world in domestic violence cases, but now a local shelter is combating the problem by opening up the first pet kennel inside a women's shelter. How it could encourage more families to seek help in our Channel 2 News Big Story at 5.30. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Remington. Wendy is off tonight. Thank you for keeping it here. Nevada has consistently been ranked one of the states with the most domestic violence against women. Sadly, many don't leave their homes to seek help because they're afraid of leaving their animals behind with the abuser. But now a local shelter has found a way to help by creating the first shelter pet kennel in northern Nevada. Chloe Beardsley joins us now live with more on this story. Chloe? That's right, Kristen. Safe Embrace, a group that advocates against domestic violence, is now providing a safe place for pets to stay when their owners flee from their abusers. Construction on the facility finished up last week and can house up to do a dozen dogs and cats in multiple spaces. John Etchemendy has made it his life goal to help victims of domestic violence. He's been the executive director of Safe Embrace for about a year. Since services started in 1994, they've kept track of some major milestones. So this is our milestone wall, and every time we hit one, we add, a, add a, an image so that our volunteers and our donors can come in and, and see our progress. Adding a new pet facility has marked one more this month. We're very excited. Today, we got a glimpse of the new place. Fully stocked with three enclosures to take care of big and little dogs and a climate controlled place for cats. Putting in a pet facility is part of an effort to encourage women to leave a dangerous situation. The goal is to really make sure that we can accommodate everyone and so that every survivor in our community is comfortable with making the call and asking for shelter. That's tough enough already. It costs tens of thousands of dollars to make it happen, with most of the funding coming from Red Rover, a group based out of Sacramento. They reach out to domestic violence shelters all over. They offer funds to complete projects just like this. And locally? We have felt the love from the community. Sierra Nevada Job Corps, D, D roofing. Residents at the shelter are already very excited. They're they're in amazement and, and more than anything the kids, I think they just want the pets to come in. Every year Safe Embrace helps more than 200 women, children and men with a place to stay and thousands more through other programs. With this new addition, Safe Embrace is hopeful they will be able to help more people. They shouldn't have to make the decision to abandon an animal with an abuser. Now they have a place to go. And with the new pet facility, Safe Embrace is looking for donations to help feed the pets and they're looking for washable cat and dog beds. They also need new or used reptile and bird cages to house a variety of other animals. For ways to help, you can go to our website, ktvn.com, and click under the new blue news links button. Covering the big story, Chloe Beardsley, Channel 2 News.